The Grammy Awards ceremony is tonight, and you can see it all right here on CBS. Actually, buying the nominated recordings, however, is not so easy, as our Anthony Mason laments. I went to Times Square last week to take pictures of the Virgin Music Store with the little video camera I got for Christmas. I wanted a record, a visual keepsake, a souvenir, because the Virgin Store is closing soon. And in my neighborhood, at least, that'll be the swan song for those megaplexes of popular music. Two years ago, I ached when they shuttered the two-story Tower Records in nearby Lincoln Center. It had been my favorite lunch break destination. And by the time I got there to take pictures, the silence was eerie. I nicked this sign from the Q section of Rock Pop Soul, just to remind myself how you used to be able to touch music. Ah, oh, that's right. I know the digital download has been the dagger in the heart of CD sales, which are dying a lingering, agonizing death. And I, for one, will not mourn the CD. Not when you need a high-powered lens to read the liner notes. And why do the covers always crack the minute you get them home? For anyone raised on vinyl, the CD was a miserable music experience. Good riddance. They'll make great coasters. No, what I'll miss is the physical experience of finding new music, the sense of adventure and discovery, exploring the aisles, stumbling on that unexpected import. Of course, you can find anything now on the internet and put it on your iPod in seconds. I love my iPod, but I miss my albums. I've been waking on a section. Maybe that's why vinyl is making an unexpected comeback. Sales of good old LPs have nearly doubled in the past two years. Okay, it's still only a modest two million records. Last year, Coldplay's new album, Viva La Vida, sold more copies than that. But I bought the vinyl version. InSound, a website for fans of indie rock, reports that nearly half its business is now in vinyl. And not from selling to 50-something fogies like me. InSound's customers are 20-year-old kids. But I, got a willy. I asked the CEO if the reason was vinyl's better sound quality. No, he said, most kids can't tell the difference. It's what he said next that gave me some hope. In his words, the resurgence of vinyl is, and I quote, the avid music fan's response to the ephemeral nature of the digital age. I like the sound of that. So the thoughts from Anthony Mason.